Mike Rogers, who used to be the uh, FBI agent turned Republican Senate, and he was in charge of the Senate Intelligence Committee, he's retired. He's going into the radio. He's going to let everybody know uh, what it's all about, apparently. But anyway, not, not spend a lot of time on this guy. It's just at the end of his uh, interview, you had him on any uh, uh NPR the other night, he said uh, he's gonna miss he's gonna miss the clowns, but he's not gonna miss the circus. So I thought about that and I said to myself, I I shouldn't it be the other way around? But um, it just goes to show here's a guy that's he's he's the highest official you can possibly get in law enforcement, but yet he leaves an interview with that kind of statement. Like it's so like it just it's 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 silly. It's a silly statement. And uh, it just goes to show you, like, he don't really take his job very seriously. So these are the type of guys we have that are supposed to be protecting us. Of course, he reaped in enormous amounts of sums from some of the contracts that were going on with the spying agencies. The way I see it is there was two guys in this, this the, the deal, Rufus Berger and uh, this guy right here, Mike Rogers. Mike Rogers was in, in charge of uh, the, the, the digital uh, footprints, if you would, from every citizen going to the law enforcement. He was the guy to try to get all the information he could possibly get about you, your mother, your sister, your brother, and your daughter, and your grandfather. And the other guy, Rufus Berger, was in charge of getting all that information for the uh, corporations. So they had some, some kind of an altercation came about, just like Cheney and Bush are recently having an altercation. I mean, that's how you know that this 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 the system that we have doesn't work because the ones that are supposed to be chummy are really not chummy they're just acting chummy so you know a lot of people might look at Ross and say wow that dude's angry I ain't gonna listen to him his life's not good but let's just be honest here I've got some things I want to talk about and I'm not one of these Russell Brand types to be like oh the Taliban just shot 130 kids ha 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 you know you got nice boobs ha 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 you know, come on, man, give me a break with that, really, bro. If I see you on the street, I'm going to call you out. So what we need to do is get real, okay? There's plenty of time for laughing and fun later on. Believe me, I have my share. But here in Ross Reports, it's serious. And here in Ross Reports, we got to get down to business. And that's what we're doing.